I'm Peter Block here at TCT 2018, and with me is Clemens van Bergelen from Eschele in the Netherlands, uh, not Amsterdam. <laughs> and uh, this is an interesting trial. Uh, Clemens, tell me about the difference in these stents. This is a stent trial, the bionics trial. Right. And it, they're really rather similar, but then again, they're rather not similar. I mean, it's a yet another two stent trial, one stent against the second, but there are differences here. So tell me Absolutely. about the trial first, why you did it, yeah. and then we'll talk about the outcomes. Okay, great. Um, the Resolute Onyx stent um, is a novel device, novel stent, that has the same coating and drug as its predecessor, the Resolute Integrity stent, but a completely different stent backbone. It's made from a, a, a composite wire with a platinum iridium core that is more dense on, ang uh, on angiography. On, uh, so easier to see. Yep. Easier to see, exactly. And it has a different shape. It's not round anymore, but it uh, has a swagged shape with a flattening of the uh, roof and uh, the bottom of uh, the stand. And um, these are two uh, um, uh, changes that uh, allow to, to th uh, um, decrease the, the thickness of the struts. Um, and um, that might have some impact on, on clinical outcomes. Okay, so that gets me to the question, Clemens, and that is, uh, why did you do the trial? I mean, did you really think there was going to be a difference here, or what did you s power the trial to show? Yeah, the, power, the study is powered for, non for the assessment of non-inferiority, and that was our hypothesis also. Um, so we aimed at the demonstration of uh, non-inferiority. Yeah. But then again, you always sort of hope that that thinner strut might make a difference. Well, actually, the Osiris stand has thinner struts than the Resolute uh, Onyx. Uh, uh, the Osiris stand is called an ultra-thin yeah. strut stand with 60 micron struts. Um, and uh, uh, the coated struts are, have a um, difference of 21 microns. So actually, the, the, ultra, the well, Osiris... That's what I mean. So maybe, well, I guess you didn't hope, but you might think... You, you could I, perhaps Sometimes you detect things that you, you, you don't expect. Or, right. uh, yeah, that's, that's sure. Okay, so having said all of those things, tell me what the outcome is. Yeah, we performed uh, uh, this, uh, this all commerce study in 2,488 patients. Seven centers in the Netherlands, Belgium and Israel uh, participated with a follow-up rate of 99.6%, um, which we were very happy with, as you may imagine, for such a large uh, yep. study. And we found after one year for the primary endpoint, target vessel failure, a composite of cardiac death, target vessel MI, and target vessel revascularization rates of 4.5 for the novel Resolute um, uh, Onyx and uh, 4.7, so very similar, sure. for the Osiris yeah. stent. Non-inferiority was demonstrated, certainly not, not uh, any superiority. There was also no difference for the components of the uh, primary endpoint, um, as well as for other composite endpoints like uh, target lesion failure, maze, or uh, other endpoints. But we looked at the data before, just before we started this yes. uh, interview, and there is a slight difference in stent thrombosis. Indeed. Um, while we have to be very careful, as you know, for events that are so rare as stent thrombosis, and the study is obviously not powered for the assessment of stent thrombosis or other rare events, um, but it's interesting to see that the Ozara again had very good results with a 0.7% definite or probable stent thrombosis, uh, confirming the findings of our own bioresource study and other Orkhammer studies. Um, uh, but it, that was significantly different from the findings uh, of the uh, Resolute Onyx, uh, the novel device, um, where we saw uh, an almost unbelievable 0.1% uh, definite or probable stent yep. rate. But the, we got this data from the CAC, from the Kinetic <laughs> Event Education. Uh, very experienced yeah. operators and trialists from the AMC in, in Amsterdam. Yeah. Well, facts are facts, aren't they? Yeah. But then again, uh, it wasn't powered really to look at that. Not, no. So I think we should really rather pass that and say perhaps this play of chance. Could be, certainly. Yeah. Uh, there are some arguments why, of, um, why the stent thrombosis risk might be slightly lower in the Resolute Onyx as compared to the Resolute Integrity, the predecessor, but we could not explain why it should be that low. And there are data from real world registries suggesting that the stent thrombosis rate in, in real world situations may be higher, more in the range of the Resolute Integrity or the Osiris stint. And it may change over the next year as you follow these patients, of course. Yeah, we, should, we yeah. will have a, a two-year follow-up. and we have... Okay, so the bottom line here is two stents, a little different construction, but non-inferiority of one versus the other, so an equivalence. Does the trial make you happy? 
um, as a trialist, uh, you're always happy if you have good data and if you have a good uh, follow-up. And um, uh, the data are the data. I mean, if there are positive or negative, uh, we have to deal with that. But I'm happy to have uh, finished uh, this, this trial, at least to, reach the, to have reached the primary endpoint with such a high follow-up rate and, and good quality of the data. Extraordinarily well uh, managed trial and well done trial. Thank you. Thank you very much.